What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 27 of Pokemon Black 2. Watch you randomize Soul Link Challenge. If you guys have not seen the last episode, be sure to go over to DJ Spinda's channel and check it out. And of course, I'm joined with DJ Spinda today. Boy, that was that was awkward. That was, that was really awkward, Mike. You're not that fast. You can't talk that fast. <laughs> no, you you were like you were like check it out on DJ Spinda's channel. And also, I'm with DJ Spinda. <laughs> and also. I'm with the Phantom Michael. Then, as I'm DJ gonna redo Spinda. the entire intro <gasps> now. Thanks a lot. Why would you do that? This is this is gold. Fine. Fine. This is we'll gold. I don't care. Yeah. Don't even care. Don't even Roll care. Roll the intro music. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Now we're back. <laughs> now from the I'm intro really confused. Music. <laughs> what? What? You got me all sorts of confused, Mike. Let's do a team recap, huh? I don't care, man. I'm I'm just so excited. <laughs> yeah, you sound look, like it. Look at up first on the team is the Adamant, Rocky Helmet Holden, Teutonic, Groudon, with Earthquake, Leaf Tornado, Lava Plume, and Hammer Arm. And Tectonic is linked with that Scrappy Clifford, the uh, Stoutland, wearing that Rocky Helmet, rocking out with Takedown, Crunch, Strength, and Rower. They both have Rocky Helmets on? Whoa, that's, so nice. that's crazy. Crazy. Up next, we have the mighty Janet the Jellicent, the starter pair that you guys chose for us, rocking out the moves Recover, Water Pulse, Leaf Tornado, and Ominous Wind. And Janet is linked with Enchantress, the leftovers holding Sigilith, rocking out the moves Psychic, Air Slash, Hypnosis, and Strength. Up next, we have Gear the Clank with the moves Mirror Shot, Cut, Strength, and Charge Beam. Oh, snap. Gear is linked with Spitfire, the Houndoom, holding that charcoal, rocking out with Flamethrower, Bite, Fire Fang, and Hydro Pump. Ooh. Yeah. Up next, we have a Slifer the Sky Dragon with Outrage Fly, Crunch, and Hyper Voice. And Slifer is linked with the Almost Dead Caesar, the Muscle Band wearing uh, Primeape with Cross Chop, Seismic Toss, Thunder Fang, and Fly. Up next, we have the Mighty Cream of Ice Cream. With Surf, Mirror Shot, Leaf Tornado, and Ice Beam. And Cream is linked with Sparky, the Jolteon. Holding that lucky egg, rocking out with Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Surf, and Thunder Wave. Dude, he has got coverage for days. And last but not least, the newest member of our team. We have Alpha, the Arceus. With Solar Beam, Judgment, Earth Power, and Hyper Voice. All hail the Alpha. <laughs> Next up, or uh, linked up with the Alpha, is big ol' Earth Mover, the Torterra, also wearing a Rocky Helmet. Rocking out the moves Mega Drain, Earthquake, Leech Seed, and Synthesis. Such a good pair. Yes. Alpha and, oh my goodness. I should have named it Omega! I'm glad that you got... Oh, that, yeah. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I'm glad that you at least got a decent Pokemon, actually a good Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm calling I, was like, good. I was like, yeah, you can't like, you can't disrespect the Torterra like that. You gotta call. There it. is a hidden item up there, Dylan. Yeah, I think I already got it. Maybe not. Oh. I was up here earlier. What's all? Ooh, there's a lot of trainers over here. A water jam. Woo! I know there's a ton of trainers there over here. There is a ton of trainers. What is in here? Kingler. Nothing. This would be good experience for Earth Mover. Make a drain. Yeah. Oh, he outsped me. Whoa. He took Rocky Helmet damage. Whoa. We're going to gain our Ooh, HP. Ooh, the bank. red flute. Kingler fainted. <laughs> so, Michael, let's chat, shall we? Shock drive. This, we got the shock drive. This is going to be way off of our time frame of when this was actually posted mm -hmm. because as the Correct. time of recording this this video i'm going to talk about is already posted but how about that <clears throat> how about that first double battle of the gym leaders how how about that huh that was super fun and amazing and me and dj spinda are just as in sync battling side by side as we are in soul link dude i know we soul link so often that we are just straight up linked we knew, we knew, we knew when one of us was going to protect, we knew, we knew everything. Isn't that crazy though? Like that play, that like little sequence of plays right there, I was getting chills. I was like, dude, 
Is anyone gonna beat us? Because now, now at the time of recording this, we're probably gonna lose <laughs> the next two after that. <laughs> Open challenge gets wiped. Get out. wiped. Yeah. Let's. Who are you most? I would be afraid to fight the flying and dark gym leaders head on. Yeah, that would that would be a true challenge of whether or not we can be in sync or not. Honestly, yeah. because. I mean, the nice thing about doubles is we can help each other out, though. So as long as we have ways of outspeeding or ways of living hits and stuff like that, I think we'll be, uh, you know, we could possibly, um, oh, I should earthquake this food. I'm going to leave seed instead. Put in some work, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, like, then you can cover me a little bit and I can cover you. But, like, not much you can do to flying types, I suppose. I do have some special... Ghosts that can drop some thunders and some uh, um, thunderbolts. Yeah, and you know my team can rock ice punch and thunder punch if need be. But for dark I type, found a hidden beach for over dark here. types though, I'm a fighting type, so I can take out the dark types no problem. That's true. You know, if I just focus on speeding and uh, taking out the uh, flying, you could focus on the yeah, dark. Yeah, you know your mimic, you could do some work even against the dark types. You're right. I think I think we could do it, man. I say we I say we push for that challenge now. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm down. You hear that, Guardian Ace? You hear that? You hear that shade of defeat? We're coming for you. <laughs> We're coming next. And now they know this our strategy. This is episode strat. 20 episode 18 just posted, right? No, episode 19 just posted. Oh god. 20 is going up <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, this is a while a ways off. <laughs> This is a ways off, and we're talking smack. Dude, there are... We'll come get you some. <laughs> there are so many trainers down here. This is crazy. I found double bottle grass over here. Zoinks. Had we have made it here first, there is a Pokeball in there. Uh, eject button. Let's go Ooh, the Sparky. eject button. Ooh. Oh, that's double battle grass, eh? Yeah. Oh, dude, I love how your vanilla -ish is... Oh, dude, this thing's calm mining? That's your surfer, huh? Yeah. Must be some icy cold water, huh? Got some, yeah. It frees the water and I make ice cream out of it. <laughs> Psychic. Ow! Wee! Wow, that's Let's crazy. Get a on the team. Psychic from a from a swoobat that's a few levels ahead of Sparky. Almost one shot him, dude. Crazy. Don't die. Crazy, dude. Sparky is for reals frail, man. Yeah. He is the frailest of the evolutions. I want to stay in against this Relicanth. Because it's water and rock, which is an absolute perfect counter to my entire team. What is over here? I'll go under I'll go under Earth Mover. That'll work. He can tank a hit or two. A Pokeball! Pokeball? Is this a new area? You're a new area. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> wow. Come on, Earth Move. You gotta start one shot at some stuff. You think you're funny over there, Dylan? Ha, I don't think. I know. <laughs> dude, there's a Cabalion on my screen. Oh, dude, are we getting that encounter today? Maybe. Dude, hold the phone. Let me get over there. Where are you dilly dallying around over here, Mike? Um, make a right. Nope, a right. You're going left. The right. But I was, you're the right. I was already all the way over there. Other way, other way. To the right. Oh, I'm sneaky. Now go north. Now go up the stairs. There's an item here. Yeah, grab that. An oval stone. Ooh. Does that evolve a, a happini or something? Or uh, now go north. Do you have cut? Oh, I see the cabalion. Yeah, I see it. I I don't. I have cut, but I don't have a cut on on me. Uh, at least I don't think I do. We can wait until you come back if you need to. Cut. Cut, 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 c
I wish it I could. Won't let you. No, it won't let me. That's dumb. I mean, I guess. Do I need both takedown and strength? Strength is base eighty and takedown's base ninety, but takedown can miss. Oh and yeah, I get dude, recoil. get rid of get rid of takedown. Get rid of takedown. Hundred percent. Strength should hit plenty hard, I suppose. Yeah. And you're not taking recoil damage. I think that's a fair trade. All right, let's do this. All right, Clifford. Do we have Pokeballs for this? I'm going to switch out and get the right Pokemon in front here. Oh, I need to heal my guys real quick here. Oh, we do encounter him, dude. Oh, did you click on him? No, I, he just is still there after I walked up to him. Okay. Um. I thought he was going to run away. I need to heal up real quick. Super Podium. Pokeballs. I figure Pokeballs. I figure Enchantress will be the best one to lead with because it's gonna Dude, be. Dude, I only have twenty five Pokeballs. Ooh, that's it. You might need to go get some Ultra yeah. Balls, man. You got lots of money. Yeah. Oh shoot! I walked up a little closer to him. Oh, okay. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Okay. I'm just gonna run past him real quick. I'm gonna look around here a little bit. Oh, here's the. What if he's gone? Oh, there's a city right there. Yeah, oh there's my a city God. right there, Mike. If you walk past, I, already, it. I flew. I flew away. <laughs> God damn it! Oh shoot! No! Oh my gosh! Just, just talk for me. Just talk for me. Oh, uh, hi there, DJ. It's gonna be a while before I get there. Yeah. <laughs> I used to fly, so it would. So it looks like I beat everyone here. Thanks for your help in Reversal Mountain. If you go straight past. La Cas La Cas La Cunosa La Cunosa Town. <laughs> You'll reach <laughs> Appaloosa you City. <laughs> but before you go, there's something I want you you to hear. Oh. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. Oh no! Now where are we going? No! I don't want to walk with you. You must be the ones who want to hear the old. Uh, oh. You must be the ones who want to hear that old tale about La Cana, like La Llorona. Oh. Man, I got lost. That's right. Please tell us. All right, my dearies, please come in. Oh my gosh. Mike, I just walked into the longest cutscene known to man. Ugh. I'll be there. Give me like an hour. I'll be there. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Behind La, 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 La Llorona town, there might be a La hole. Llorona. <laughs> Have you La heard Llorona of the giant town. chasm? Oh, I've heard around the giant chasm there have been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees. It must be North Dakota there. <gasps> oh, yeah, don't you That's know. what Sharon told me anyway. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. Long, long time ago, there was a giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. I, a really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that said meteorite. A meteorite? Well, darkness falls over the land. These people, these people of Pokemon appear. A frigid, it follows, it freezes everything around and eats people in Pokemon. Jeez. <laughs> That's why everyone was scared. <laughs> Scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> they ran for their lives, everybody. The the Pokemon ate <gasps> people. Our ancestors surrendered the town with walls. Surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. A fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Thanks, Nano. <laughs> that was that was actually a lot of fun. Oh my god! Not gonna lie. <laughs> I, Wasn't that interesting? The Pokemon truly identify may be unknown. That I completely butchered that. Yeah, you but did. the power <laughs> mentioned in the story. I know the power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's also like Zekrom, who scorched you Nova with intense lightning long ago. By the way, Phantom, do you remember the story of Zekrom? Of course I do. Yes. I told you a little about it in Lamasa Town, remember? Zekrom is a legendary dragon Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero, pursuing ideals. It has a black body and it can unleash force fearsome lightning. 
Professor, do you think there's connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon type Pokemon? The meteorite. The meteorite. The meteorite? <laughs> <laughs> Zekrom was revived from a rock called the Dark Stone. Let's suppose the meteorite from the story and this stone are one and the same. Taken into account, the elements from the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower where Zekrom was and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a place of puzzle. Let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, it should be really strong. What kind of reason would there be for it to come out only at night? Like if like it doesn't like sunlight or something like that? <laughs> Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the name Lugnosa would be derived from Lugnosa clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from the Pokemon. Sorry, I rambled on a bit. Yeah, you rambled on a lot. Yeah. Would you ask Drayden about this if you get a chance? I'm going to do a little field work. Bianca, help me out. Sure thing. Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, just so you know, Opelousa City's mayor, Drayden, wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen them up. <laughs> Okay, okay, wow. we're done with that. <laughs> the fact, the sheer fact that she had to tell us randomly, hey, did you know that the gym leader wrestles his Pokemon to toughen him up? <laughs> what? I'm buying Ultra Ball since I came all the way here. We're, we're catching this. Actually, it's probably not even going to be a legendary. It's going to be a friggin' Rattata or something. It's going to be a Bidoof. <laughs> friggin' the perfect Bidoof. The perfect Bidoof. I got 30... 30 Ultra Balls, that should be enough, yeah, right? Yeah, I got 35. Alright, 35. 35! Alright, Dylan, I'll let you do it. You do the honors. Alrighty. Let's let it be a really... Let's. How about a... a Moltres? Look how close I'm standing to a Cobalion. Look at him. I want to ride it. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> Get it from behind it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Are you ready, Mike? Yep. Cobra! What is it? It is a Spanarak. Uh. <laughs> uh, it's a male level 45 Spinarak. And you got a female. So that's a grass bug pair. There it is. There it is. Grass and bug. Man. <laughs> Isn't that something? Well, at least I don't have to worry about you know, not being able to catch it, right? That's true. Think I can strength the spinner act from here in full health? I doubt it. <laughs> then I think it has like two HP at level 100. <laughs> I'm throwing a master ball at it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd probably die. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw an ultra ball at it. It's a gloom. Dude, I crit caught it. One shake and it caught. <laughs> Bug poison. Wow. What a waste of my time. <laughs> I'm about to kill it. I got the perfect name. Don't kill it. I got the perfect name for this little guy. Peter Parker. I'm naming him Parker. Got it. Oh, this is dupes for me anyway. Oh, yeah. You have an Oddish. Oh well, it's static. Nothing we can do about it, dude. We've got we've each gotten a spinner rack from a static encounter in this game so far. Yep. What are the odds, man? All right, are, are, there's got to be a grotto on this route somewhere, huh? Somewhere. Over the rainbow. When do? All right, you look left. I'll look right. Yep, I already I headed left already. Um, we got we're probably encountering uh. Terrakion somewhere around here too, huh? You know what? You might be right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big mushroom. Oh, I just got a power band. Would you look at that Metagross? Oh, that's that's lovely. Did you you caught that Metagross last time, right? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, we were talk. We we're gonna talk about that because I thought you had a better Pokemon than what Houndoom is linked with. What'd you get? I got a Growlithe, but I don't have. Oh, but I right. don't have a Firestone. That's right. Let's battle this trainer down here. Metti Gross. Oh, it's a rotation battle. Okay. Oh, he's got my boy Toxicroak Rip. over here. Look at this. Look at this lineup. Toxicroak, Whoa. Gabite, and Walry. <laughs> Hello. He's got a he's got a Roland over there. Is he gonna ice ball me? Should I switch out? I want a Psychic mm. in case he switches into in case he's stupid and switches over to that Toxicroak. I think he would ice ball. Oh, I got a fossil. Nope, he switched over to Toxicroak. I went Psychic. Predicted. Let's go. Predicted. That thing's getting one shot. Rip. Ripperoni. He's out of Focus there. Focus Sash uses Endeavor quick attack. <laughs> oh, I ran into a triple. Oh my god, Dylan. Look at this lineup. Whoa, there's some thick Whoa. boys over there. Ooh, but I have airlock. Oh, okay. So my airlock went first and then his drought. Okay. Cross chop. Oh, it's a triple Whoa. battle. Not a... So we're going to fly Ooh, with you. Dude, Caesar just one I shot a wall rain you. from full. We're going to charge beam you. Everybody's getting hit with a super effective attack. Dude, same here. Same here. Oh, Dylan. Dylan. What happened? Gear, gear's dead. What? I just got hammer armed by a... Growled on. Freaking growled on. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh. I really did not see that coming. I was I was totally like, okay, yeah, Groudon's gonna go after Jellicent. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So that means no more Houndoom, no more Spitfire. We might as well throw that Growlithe pair on then. It's an exact swap. Other than, oh wait, no, we can't. Do you have a fire type on your team? Uh, my, it's linked with a. It's linked. No, I don't have a fire type. It's linked with a steel type, right? Yeah, I don't have a fire type. Well, then we can add it. How did that happen? Freaking hammer arm. Uh, okay, Spitfire item. Okay, take that charcoal from you, bud. I barely used Spitfire. He's the weakest one on my team right now. Dude, I didn't realize how many triple and rotation battles they threw in this game. Yeah, there's a lot. It's way more than the original than the first one way more yeah i think the first one they only had one battle like that or they had them like in set specific places they were placed moderately this game they're like all over the place randomly <laughs> everywhere all right i will take gear off actually i'm gonna leave gear on until we get out of this stuff Oh, 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 he's bouncing. Bouncing. Bounce Ponyta. Bouncing. I don't like it at all. Oh, and he parried me. Sweet. Uh, oh, no. He's going to bounce again. I can't outspeed because he's got me paralyzed. I'm gonna throw a paralyzed heal on while he's up in the air. Man, I'm a little salty about all that shit. I, yeah, I am too. Spitfire was 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 doing doing all right, man. He was doing all right. Okay, I should be able to. Oh, I probably won't outspeed this Ponyta now that I think about it. Oh, he went fire blast. I avoided it. Ooh. You found a rotation battle you did there. Oh, a Dragon Knight. Ooh. Oh my gosh, and I accidentally have gear on the field. All right, I can't attack with gear. That's all.
Don't crunch me, Orchin. What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, one down. Found an item. A poison burb. I'm still uber salty about, uh... The loss of my... Needle King. <laughs> yeah. Super salty. <sighs> that was another great Pokemon. I know, I know. I barely got to use him, too. Gosh, man, all the rotation and triple battles, man. They're killing us, dude. I can take anything one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yeah. What, what was in this house? Anything? That's where I got the power band, I believe. So it's up to you if you want that power band. Yeah, why not? The kid with the wingle? Yep. I think that's Mr. Brimey's son. I don't know. Pico! My darling Pico. I got a cell battery. Now my phone won't die. Now my phone won't die. <laughs> oh no, it's a triple battle lady. Oh no. Rip. Holy crap! It's got Gardevoir, Lunatone, and Electivire. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's a Lugia on my screen. Uh-oh. Look out. Okay, so... It's... I have a problem here, Mike. That scared me. Um, do I... Oh. Oh my. Aeroblast. Oh my gosh, Dylan. We won. Okay, Mike, here's here's my situation. I have a rock type and Go. an electric type, okay? Mm -hmm. The rock type and electric type can absolutely body Enchantress. Sigilith. Okay. Okay. Then I've got a psychic type over there that could easily body Caesar. Are you doing a triple battle? Yes, or this is a, a triple battle. battle. This is a triple battle, so I'm in deep doo doo. Okay. Um Jolteon could T wave the Lunatone. But then that leaves the Electivire unaccounted for, who if, if he thunder punches Enchantress, I'm probably going to get one shot. You should hard switch Enchantress and Caesar. Yep. Uh, you... Clifford and Earthmover are going to be my go-tos here. Yeah. Oh, that's a guard of. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's a guard of war. Yeah. I was like, I thought you said. I thought you were. I was thinking Zatu for some reason. No, uh, guard of war. Pretty nervous there. Watch him brick break me now. Yeah, that's exactly what I cross chop. I was like, yep, oh gosh. yep. Dude, I got the flame plate now. Snap. Snap a do. So now. Okay, so, so I, now we could have a fire I type. I T waved. On fire type Arceus. I T waved the Lunatone. Thunder Punch, I called it. He Thunder Punched my herdy, my uh, Stoutland. Predicted. Ooh, Boy. that still did a lot. But Rocky Helmet damage. Yeah. Psychic, yep, he's Psychic. He did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. Thunder Punch and Psychic. Oh, oh no! He crit one shot yeah. Earth Mover! Oh! And Lunatone has Stone Edge, and he used it and missed. Arceus and Stone Mover are gone. Yes. But here's my problem. Because I switched, I didn't get any damage done. I don't know if we're gonna I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this battle. Oh my gosh. You're about to have my full attention. Flamethrower on the Electivire. 
does almost nothing. Psychic kills it. Like the virus gone. Okay. Lunatone is paralyzed. Like the virus gone. Lunatone's paralyzed. Oh, calm we lost mind. Two Pokemon. Gardevoir just calm minded. That's not good. Dang it, man. Can we one shot with Crunch? Oh, not quite. Lunatone went heal block. Oh boy. Sparky can't heal now. I'm not Had I I'm not, not lost gear. Had I not lost gear, you could have switched into Spitfire. My dark yeah. type. Well, we started off with an episode full of six, and now we're on to episode of four. Oh, Clifford almost got one shot. Gardevoir is gone. It's just the Lunatone now. Ferrothorn died? Yeah, my, my, um, Heracross died. Mm. Lunatone's full para. Okay. Dang it, man. We had, we finally had Arceus and he, I lost he, it the next he episode. didn't even make one full episode. I'm sad. I mean, I don't know what else I could have done there, honestly. I didn't. Nothing. I didn't expect. Torterra was the smart switch. Yeah, I didn't expect Torterra to get one shot like that, but it was a yeah, crit, I didn't and the crit mattered. I think the crit mattered for sure. Yeah, I would have never guessed he'd have lost to. He'd have been one hit, one shot. Man. Well, that's it for Soul Link today. Yeah, that's the end of this episode, anyway. Gosh, man. We'll have to do some team switcheroos here. Aw, oh, I ran into Hoffman. Where at? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard a rumor to that effect. Oh my gosh. Ooh, for crying out loud, this is the troublesome indeed. My curious trainers. Perhaps I should sat, sat, sedate you corresponding somewhat. The reason I am still part of Team Plasma is this. I know to... I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokeballs are civilization. Humans who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what will happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People will be forced to throw out the Pokeballs, a product of civilization. I want to know what that looks like, and I want to enjoy it. Shut your mouth! All I want to get back a stolen Pokemon. Phantom, give me a hand. You ready? All right. We'll have to come back. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. It does that right away. I'm throwing down. I'm angry. I'm throwing down. <laughs> this is gonna be a long episode. We're just gonna edit out where Arceus dies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, dude, he has a soul. He, dude, he has a slocking. That's pretty sweet. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were going up against the slacking. I was like, yo, watch out. Okay, I'm gonna run over there then and do this battle while we're doing it. Man time. Oh, huh, you could have said no to that battle and you didn't? <laughs> I'm throwing hands anyway. I'm angry. I lost my friend. Oh no, he's got he's got a sand slash and a wormpool. Watch out. You lose. It's over. Instant lose. Dude, his save lies oh level my God, 47. He has a Whoa, I'm under leveled. Thank god I have a level 50. Dude. Enchantress and Janet. Our starters, knock on wood, are still kicking, dude. 
They're still here. They are still kicking. Dude, can you believe that? Like, I honestly, I can't. when we picked that pair up, I was like, man, this will make it 10 episodes, maybe. <laughs> All right, we're done. 27,000. Yes, yes, we hear you. These trainers are remained. Yes, Opalie City, they go. All right. All right, that's it. We're done. Episode's over. <laughs> Episode over. <laughs> quit who wants to play pokemon anyway stupid this is just a stupid game <laughs> saving it murkrow uh oh i'm about to get murked rest in peace clifford let's go clifford the big red dog oh he mean looked me uh oh clifford's stuck now oh that was a crit yo settle down dude yeah, knock out that Murkrow. Jeez. Thank you, Sableye. Could you could you win, partner? Could you win? I'm I'm working on it. I'm gonna have to buy more potions the way this this little thing's going. Well, you know, you had three legendaries on your team, and you lost the god of them all. <laughs> I did. Now I just need to get a Kyogre to add to my team. Uh, I think I think it's time I get some legendary help over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Clifford was not taking those hits very well. But I beat him. All right. That's the end. That is the end, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. If you want to know how we record these videos, be sure to check out our kit.co link posted down below. Be sure to head over to DJ Spinda's channel for the next episode. But with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spinda. We're going to get the heck out of here. See you guys in the next one. Later.